Today, we're gonna to take you on an extraordinary journey. One that will not only introduce you to hypnosis, but will allow you to engage with it in a deeply personal way. And this session is designed for both curious beginners and those with prior experience. Remember, this is more than just a video. It's an interactive experience. So find a comfortable space, Ensure you won't be disturbed and open your mind to the fascinating world of hypnosis. I'm Erica Flint, a board certified hypnotist, accredited master hypnotherapy instructor, and author of four best selling books on hypnosis. I've helped hundreds to lose weight, stop smoking, and change their lives. And whether you aspired to become a professional hypnotist or simply want to understand yourself better, this is a path that promises endless possibilities. Let's do some hypnosis now and experience the power you have within. Find a comfortable spot where you can be undisturbed for about 15 minutes. Listening with headphones is ideal because it shuts out external sounds and allows you to be fully present. However, headphones are not required. Now we want you to be comfortable so there isn't anything physically impeding your ability to relax. And hypnosis is not relaxation. We'll learn more about that soon. However, we use relaxation as a model for the mind. So please give yourself permission to relax, uncross your arms and legs, and ideally you'll have a straight spine which allows you to drop into the deepest levels of relaxation, allowing your mind to reach the deepest, slowest brain waves. Good, take off any glasses you may be wearing. If you're sensitive to light, you may want to dim the lights, draw the shades. Now grab a blanket, your body temperature will drop in hypnosis, just like when we sleep, to conserve energy. Good. Now one final thing. I will be using the word imagine. So also note that when I use the word imagine, I really mean imagine. Pretend. Pretend is a magic word to the mind. It allows us to temporarily postpone reality the rational part of the mind. So we will use the word pretend to give the conscious mind permission to ignore anything that isn't logical. So if I ask you right now to close your eyes and pretend you were in your bedroom, you may have an idea of how to do that and pretend being there and describe where everything is to me. And it's the same thing here. You may see something in your mind during hypnosis or perhaps not. Not everyone sees things in their mind. Aphantasia is a condition where people don't see any pictures in their mind at all, yet they still know things. So if you do see images when pretending to be in your room, then you will likely see images with hypnosis too. If you sense or know what it's like to be in your room and can pretend being there without seeing any images, then you may not see anything in hypnosis either. But in the same way you know or sense your room without seeing it, hypnosis information will be revealed in the same way. Now this work is like peeling an onion. The information to free ourselves is there inside and we use hypnosis to shift the layers of perception and become aware of it and transform. Good, now open your eyes if they're not already. Now without moving your neck or head, imagine looking up through the top of your head like this. Good, now take in a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, soften your gaze. Good. You may notice the corners of the room. Good. Now another nice deep breath in when you're ready. And this time, as you exhale, close your eyes. Good. Allowing yourself to go even more deeply relaxed. And bringing your attention to your physical body then noticing right now, is there any part of you 
that would like to relax more than you are already relaxed right now. And you invite that part of your body to relax further. Now, this is a call out to even the most tired and exhausted parts of you to release all burdens, all concerns. Good. Now drop your shoulders and relax your jaw. And as you do, your jaw opens slightly, which is entirely natural. Now this sends a message to your entire body, every muscle, every nerve, every aspect of you that now is the time to relax. Good. Now gradually slow down your breathing. Get into that comfortable, slow rhythm of breathing with a long exhalation. This invites your body to relax even further, which then allows your mind to drift peacefully. Good. Now relax the back of your tongue. See how relaxed you can get that part of your body to become. And as you do that, your mind is freed, free to have new thoughts, new creations, new ideas, or perhaps nothing, no thoughts at all. Peace, serenity, silence, and tranquility. Taking in another nice and deep breath now and exhaling easily, effortlessly. Good, one more time, a really nice and deep breath in. And a really slow exhalation, good. Allowing all remaining tension to simply melt away. Now I'd like you to imagine using the magic of the mind that it is some point in the near future and you are with a client a middle-aged woman who originally came to see you because she couldn't sleep. Her restless nights were causing multiple issues in her life, including low motivation, falling asleep at work, and overeating. And you notice today that she looked visibly different, younger in fact, with a smile on her face. And she tells you she's been sleeping again and she's had the most peaceful and happy week of her life. She looks directly at you and pauses for effect and then states, thank you, you changed my life. And you feel at peace, fulfilled. You know the work you did with her was meaningful. It positively impacted her life. A deep sense of gratitude and happiness washes over you. And you look back at your client and in all earnestness reply, you did that and it was my honor to assist. Your client is at peace for the first time in decades. And you feel content and excited for your client and for your work. In a moment of reflection between clients, you think this is so much better than I ever thought. The journey that brought you here over the past year has been rewarding and uplifting. You've learned so much about yourself and helping others. And looking back, you wouldn't change a thing, except maybe starting earlier. But even that doesn't make sense. Because you know now that all your life experiences is what helps make you an excellent hypnotist. You are a professional hypnotist. You help clients, including yourself, with a variety of issues, everyday issues and complex issues as well. Issues they can't seem to resolve themselves using their best tools. Things like losing weight, stopping smoking, working with kids and teens, and alongside the medical community. You have grown professionally and personally as well. You're able to do things in your life you once weren't able to do. Your relationships have improved. It's easier for you to focus and get work accomplished. And you're healthier 
because you're using your own tools as a hypnotist to improve your own life. You are proud of yourself and feel fulfilled and content. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to three, and I'd like you to easily open your eyes and emerge from hypnosis. One, preparing to open your eyes. Two, feeling relaxed and focused. And three, opening your eyes, feeling so good. Now that incredible journey you just embarked on is only a glimpse of the profound power of hypnosis. And it's something you can learn to wield to assist others and yourself. If what you've experienced today resonates with you, if you feel a calling to delve deeper into the art of hypnosis, then I urge you to continue along this path. Click the subscribe button below to stay connected with our channel. We'll keep exploring together, answering questions, and unlocking the secrets of the mind. Now, for those who are serious about mastering the skills to become a professional hypnotist, visit our website at canyoubeahypnotist.com. There, you'll find a wealth of resources, courses, and support to guide you on this incredible journey. Our comprehensive training is designed with you in mind, providing the tools, techniques, and community you'll need to thrive as a master hypnotist. And don't let this opportunity slip away. The world needs more compassionate and skilled hypnotists, and you could be one of them. Start your journey today. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep exploring, growing, and believing in the power within you.